So since it's been four days now, uh, time to do a, uh, I guess an update on the Creality Hallet Sky medium sized resin printer. Greetings, Dave here, DCFX. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud. I, I'll probably fix it in post, but I do have the Viper printing. I'm printing out a clank, ratchet and clank. I thought that'd be a good way to test that printer a little bit further. But I want to talk about the Creality Halot Sky. This is a follow-up. I did a video last week on an introduction of the, uh, the Halot Sky, and I was able to print this. You saw that. Uh, my mother said, that's really cool. And it is. It's a great file. But it was done by Creality. It was sliced by them, made by them. Look at the base on it, that's nice and thick. Um, yeah. Well, after some back and forth, I was able to get a slicer working on my Surface Pro and I was able to get some things printed. Ant-Man discs. Now these are not to scale. I just found a file on Thingiverse and printed them. Um, could be better. And well, you know me, Trekker. So my benchies are comms. Now this, of course, is beautiful. Some people have said, wow, I want my comm in that color. This is the uh, translucent green. Uh, it turned out really well. Look, uh, it'd be a shame to put some paint on that, but uh, the fit and tolerance is fantastic. They're really, really nice. I was also able to get, let's see this here, the Defiant. I don't even print this huge. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of resin, just seeing how it works. These are all fine. This is the problem I'm having. The slicer is in alpha. It's not very good. I printed this flat in the bed and, you know, seemed to work. Printed the com flat on the bed. Well, I was printing Fury's toolbox. I tried it with supports. Nope. I tried it flat in the bed. Nope. Now the slicer is only an alpha. Now it did come with a beta 1.0, but the slicer 2.0 is an alpha. And there's some major problems with it. And that's probably why this isn't working. Now here's the slicer here, and I've got it running on my Surface Pro, so there it is. And I, I brought in Fury's toolbox. Even then, I, even as I'm trying to do things, it crashes. As in it just stops, I can't do anything. I, it gets, all it gives me the option to is slice. Also, um, auto supports and that's it uh, there's no way to do manual supports whatsoever so I put auto supports on Furious toolbox and I couldn't tell whether there was a um, base or not without you know uh, it didn't show up and then I tried again and it did also the view you've got here when you first import it's great it gives you a good idea of everything once you start messing around and getting this on that you lose that view, you can't get back to it. So then you're stuck with this view and that view. And that's it, you can't get that three quarters view anymore. They haven't implemented it in the software yet. So on one side, I like this printer. It, it, the quality is really great when you can get it to print. So because the slicer is hit and miss, I'm not too sure what to think about it right now. Uh, if I, they could get a better slicer, if the Corelli can get a better slicer going, and they probably will because this is something that's coming out soon. I think it's uh, coming out in a month. There probably will be a better slicer. But for right now, well, I'm glad that Max Solution sent me some resin. So I think I'm going to go through a lot of it before I get done any decent prints. Now, I've taken the head off. As you can see, it's not here. I've cleaned it because I'm going to try re-leveling and see what's going on. Maybe that's part of it. But I've had two prints of Fury's toolbox that just ended up on the FAP. They didn't come up at all. But whereas these came out fine, but I haven't done anything different, so I don't know. But these are my files I'm slicing and they're not working out very well. So I guess at this point, it's a waiting game to see what's going on with the, with the slicer. Uh, if someone could come along with a, a plugin or an update to Chittabox or DG or something like that, that will do the CXDLP uh, extension, that'd be great too. But I'm just gonna keep fighting with this and I will let you know how I come up with it. Uh, or come along with it, I guess. I'm going to keep fighting with it and I keep trying, you know, maybe even simpler things. And a, a resin printer is good for this really good definition. And I think just printing things flat on a plate that are this big doesn't really show off what a resin printer can do. 
So that's a follow up on this printer. Um, Corelli, if you're listening, get working on that slicer, guys. It is not very good. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.